Today we're going to make a farmhouse um, Christmas winter swag design. Not much different than some of the other swags we've already done before, uh, but this one's going to have a little bit more of a farmhouse feel to it. Just a lot of um, our artificial pines and we're going to add some of these uh, rustic bells to our design. So before we put this up on the easel, um, we're going to get our base get those bells down there. We're gonna get our base um, together and get our, our bow in and then we'll put you guys up on the easel so that you can see the whole design. So the first thing I'm doing is I'm going in with a 30 inch artificial pine base. Now I add a lot of product to my designs. So I typically like to go in with two swag bases. Uh, that is completely optional and completely up to you depending on how much product you're gonna be putting in. Um, but I tend to use a lot of greenery and it gets heavy and I want to make sure I have a good uh, solid base. So I'm going to go right on top then with this flocked swag. This is a 30 inch flocked swag. And so I'm just going to kind of layer that right in here. And we're going to get it attached with some zip ties. So I'm just gonna take a couple of zip ties and go um, at the top and then the middle and the bottom and get these secured. Okay, so we have our, our two bases put together and we can take a couple of these ties and just tie around just a little extra security. Of course, it's not gonna go anywhere with those zip ties, but. Okay. We can bring some of these green branches up and throughout, kind of blend it. Blend it all together so the white is just not sitting solely on the top of this design. We'll bring in a couple of those green pieces. Okay, let's work on getting our bow added. So I am just going in with a D. Stevens ribbon that I've had in stock. I'm really trying to get rid of some of my some of my ribbons. Um, this is double sided, so it's got the buffalo check on one side and the velvet on the opposite side. Now our bells have a little buffalo check um, design in it and since we're going with a farmhouse design I'm going to keep it on the buffalo check side but you definitely could do it on the, um, the velvet side if you wanted. So I'm just going to get my tail. I want it fairly long. I don't know how much of this I have so hopefully we can get a couple loops couple loops out of it, but I'm just going to pinch. Let me actually switch directions here. So that'll be my tail. Pinch, twist, bring it back under, pinch, and make sure my loops are about the same size. Twist. And I'm gonna go up just a little bit more, about half an inch, about half an inch. Pinch, twist, and again about half an inch. Maybe. I can get it on the right side. There we go. About half an inch. Let's see how many loops I can get. We are running towards the end here. Okay. 
Okay, so I'm gonna stop there. So we've got three loops each. Okay, so let me get a pipe cleaner. And let me get this on a pick. I think I'm going to cut this tail because I'm probably going to want to add it back where I want it later. So I'm just going to cut that tail off and I'm going to get that added wherever we want it later. I'm gonna get some glue added to that pick. And I'm gonna put it right about there. So off to the left a little bit. And I'm not going to really mess with it right now because I want it to, to dry. Um, we're going to anchor our bow. So I am going to go in with just some of our natural pine sprays. I'm going to cut these up and then we will get our bow added. So let me cut these up and we will be back. Okay, I've cut up all my pine sprays. So we are going to get our bow anchored here. So I'm just going to go north, south, east, and west. And we're gonna put this pine right next to that pick. I'm gonna go in with one of the longer pieces of pine towards the top. Giving it a little bit of a bend. I'm gonna go in with another longer piece towards the bottom or south, as I say, right next to that pick. Don't worry about your loops yet. We'll fluff it up as we get going later. Just anchoring it right now. And then I've got to go on the left side. Okay. Now let's get our bell anchored and then we'll get it hung up. So these are some pretty nice size bells, and I want them to go kind of right in this area right here. So if we have a pine tie, which I think we do, I'm going to wrap this pine tie right around those bells. And then I'm going to get a wire. So I'm going to get some of my, I'm going to get some of my wire here. And I'm just going to wrap around where I tied that pine tie just for some extra support. And then we will glue it as well. Y'all bear with me on the sound. You're going to hear these bells jingling. I'm just going to wrap this wire all the way around. Where I tied that in on that handle. Okay, and I'm going to hit it with the glue. Okay, and then I'm going to get this hung up, let that glue dry, and we will be back. Okay, so I'm going to go in with some of these um, I think these were flock cedar. I don't think we have any more of these in stock. We may, I'm not sure. Um, again, if we do, all the supplies will be listed down in the description of this video, but use whatever kind of sort of hanging floral that you have. We're gonna get some of these added to our design. Now, I think I wanna start in, and some of these we may cut down into smaller pieces. 
okay? But I'm just gonna start with a couple pieces uh, up at the top of our design. And we're just gonna start filling this in. sprays of this so I think I want a big piece kind of hanging hanging there like that so I'm gonna probably put this one on a pick just so I can get it in there where I want it. Let's try that again. This is going to be noisy with that bell, so if you have to mute it, I understand. I'm going to put this longer piece down right at the bottom. going to go just like I did on that side I'm going to do on this side okay so I got all those pieces added all the way around it's looking nice and lovely we're going to start adding some more of our pine and really filling this out this is just going to be mostly these um, two greeneries. I have a sort of a scrap greenery that I might throw in here as well. But I'm gonna start going in and sort of putting some of this around our loops. I have two different types of this um, pine. So this one is kind of like a wispy, just a wispy pine. And then this is a a little bit stiffer, not quite as wispy with the pine cone, so I'm going to be going in and alternating between these two. So you will see both of these type of pines listed. They are slightly different. So I'm going to put a little bit of the wispiness up at the top. Right. Okay, 
and I'm going to go in around our bow area with some of this wispy pine. I'm going to fill out the sides and then we'll put some more love around that bow and get our tails added and get them how we want them. giving these a little bit of a bend, giving them a little bit of some movement. Do the same thing I just did on this side, I'm going to do on the other side. Okay, I'm going to do the same thing on the other side, and then I'm going to come back and we're going to work on the bow. Okay, so. Let's work on getting our bow a little bit more how we want it. So we're going to add some greenery in here. this kind of that swoop that we want. Okay, now I'm going to go in with our tail that we cut off and I'm just going to add a pick on it. So I'm just going to scrunch it together and use my pick machine. If you don't have a pick machine, let me show you. You can just get a wooden pick and you could just wrap it on a wooden pick, okay? But I'm going to use my pick machine just because it's easier. And 
we're going to get this tail added where we want it. Okay, and I'm going to fold up the ends so that the velvet side is showing on the top. Okay, and now I'm going to get another piece of greenery. I'm going to go underneath that tail to give it some support, give it a little bit of thin. I'm going to go right up in there. I'm going to push that in there just a little bit more. Lovely. Okay, I have a couple pieces of just some scrap pine. It's got a little bit different texture. I'm going to see if I want to add it in there or not. I think I'll add a couple pieces just to give a little bit of extra texture. I'm just going to take a couple of pieces, just some scrap pine that I have. Use whatever you have. This part is completely optional. But I'm trying to use up some of my scraps that are laying on my table. This is the perfect time to do it. sort of a rustic farmhouse design. Okay, so let's add a couple pine cones in here. I think I want one sitting right up here, top of our bow. I'm not gonna wire these in, I'm just gonna glue them. If you wanna wire them, you can. But these have a lot of pine in here that that glue is going to adhere to. Let's get another one. I think I'm going to do one on this side by the bell. Right in there. Now this actually has a little piece of wire hanging off of it. So I'm just going to put a pick on it. And that'll help me get it in there where I want it. I'm still going to put glue on it. 
on the pine cone, but. Right there. Okay, I think we need a little bit more love with our bow here and a little bit more greenery coming out right underneath the bell. So I'm going to go get another bush. I'm going to get a couple more pieces here. straight out. I'm going to get another piece and kind of go straight out this way. Y'all, I don't know if you're like me, but I can sit there and fuss over that bow all day. I never can get it exactly how I want it. I think I'm going to put another piece right under there. Really fill out that center a little bit more. I want any more around our bow. We're going to put one right in there. Here is our finished farmhouse swag. I think it turned out beautifully. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. If you are new to our channel, we would love to have you subscribe. Hit that little notification bell and you'll be notified every time we have a new tutorial. So again, hope you guys enjoyed. Until next time, bye y'all.